Okay, so so you have seen the project satisfied? This one is criminal, very devastating. I think that somebody must answer questions. Very disheartening. I didn't know the seriousness of the issue. All this why? Look at what is happening here. I mean, you and I will have to pay for the loan for this particular facility. And we are leaving it to rot away. I mean, to the extent that some of the buildings have even been completed. But there are ways all over. Some of the materials are getting burnt. You have seen it for yourself. Some of the roofs, I mean, the, the storm, the wind has taken off the roof. What are we doing to Madagana? And we are still listening to excuses? This is what the MPP government inherited. Not a single block has been added to it. You have a mandate of four years. And you are almost into three years. And you are still giving excuses for completing this particular infrastructure. And people are dying. And there's so much traffic in the Confanoche. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Let's put the politics aside. I mean, somebody must answer questions. And then quickly, because we want to do PR and as usual MPP and DC, you have somebody to run to the site and come and meet us and say, oh, audit and what, what. If somebody has done something wrong, the law must take its own course. The people must not suffer for that. So you are using almost three years to do audit? Do you have an idea about what we are talking about? You think that you are probably, I mean, doing a PR system to uh, water down the effect the of DC, this story? The, the DC says that the audit report is not necessarily indicting anybody. Do you think that your government in one way or the other is vindicated? But that is what he says. In fact, they have absolutely nothing against anybody. They are being wicked. That is what I can... I mean, apart from being wicked, tell me, what else is it? You have not indicted anybody. And look at, there have, they have materials on the ground, lying, blocks, everything lying. That at least we can even use them. Even if money is not forthcoming, we can use the materials available. And we are not doing it. Give me one word to describe this situation. If it is not wickedness. If it is not wickedness. What extent are you going to push this? Well, well, you know, the, the tools available uh, to us. We will do, I mean, press conferences, we will do statements, we will do questions. The minister must appear before the house and answer questions. When we went to the palace, you heard the, nana, the chief saying that the minister came here and gave them three weeks, multiple of months. They have not been here and it, it took Nana Nom to come and do this weeding. Everywhere is weedy. When I got here, I got shocked. It is quite disheartening. I have never seen this situation before. At least just because somebody will take the credit. I mean, that is, if you will exhibit maturity when you continue and even hold your brother's hand to come and commission, that is where Ghanaians will hail you that you are matured. Have you forgotten what Professor Mess did at the N1? When he came to power and completed N1, he held the hand of uh, 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 President Kofor, let's go and commission it. That is an exhibition of maturity. maturity. What are they doing to us? You and I, the young ones, give yourself 20 years. Those people who are, who are, being, who are doing this wickedness to us, they will not be, they, 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 they will not be alive. There will not be alive, but, but it's the two of us who will come and pay for this facility. Let's get serious for once. I mean, I mean, it's quite terrible. Very terrible, my brother. So the health minister, when he visited... So-called money, what have they used that money for? Have you seen any continuity as far as this project is concerned? Please, they should stop those things. Have you seen anything that they have added since they came to power? They should stop telling us stories. After borrowing over 80 billion. I mean, and almost every day we, we are, we are, we are, we are, they are borrowing in Parliament. All of us here are in Parliament. We know what is going on. So you can come back. If you have difficulties, come back to Parliament. Come and convince us. Meet the committee. Come and, come and make a case on the floor of the House. We are human beings. We will appreciate it. We will understand it. Okay, we think that this is for the people of this country. And let's, let's do some adjustment. Let's find extra money for this and all, all that. There are some of the uh, projects when President Mahama came. I mean, the Eurojet ones. The money was not forthcoming. He had to organize from Barclays Bank. That one too had a problem. He had to go back to uh, uh, Eurojet and had another money. And they continue with the project. Why can't they do the same? Why can't they do the same? It's an express demand by the minority side of the Health Committee of Parliament that government takes an express decision on a return of the contractor to the site at the Kumeu District Hospital. The chiefs and the people have cried a lot even as the health minister some three months ago said he was going 
to instruct the contractor to return to site in three weeks. That is yet to be done. Even as the chiefs and people are still unhappy with the decision by government to stall the project, all in the name of a forensic audit. To them, the livelihood of the people will be enhanced greatly if this hospital sees a fullest construction. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Kumeu.